Mission complete. All right, thanks, Crafty Mike. As soon as you fly off into space, I'm gonna throw this block away and I'm gonna steal this stuff from you. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a I'm such a mean person. Hey, how's it going, Spy? Here with another Terra Tech episode. Now you might be wondering, Spy. Why the new world? That's because a new update came out and it has released a few new missions and to be able to play those missions, we had to start a new world. But don't worry, the TerraTech developers reached out to me and made it possible for me to actually reach our previous point in progress, which is awesome. So what we have to do is we have to actually do the intro piece here, build our craft, get our solar generator and our battery and our radar, stuff like that. I'm gonna just skip that kind of stuff because you guys have already seen it already and the new missions are actually the new crafting update. They totally rehauled the crafting which means it's a lot more nice looking and it is a lot easier to use. So our craft is ready. I'm just gonna go get our basic parts, our solar generator, our radar, and our battery. Oh, I forgot to kill this guy as well. Might as well kill him. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Just drill him until he dies. <laughs> and in terms of me actually building a base on top of a monument or a giant rock, whatever you want to call it, I will still be doing that, but we are going to be checking out the new missions for the next couple videos. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. So here we go. I think we are ready. I'm gonna take this stuff with us so we don't forget it. Now I tried doing these new missions a couple times already, but the first time my SEU actually glitched out and didn't want to complete the mission, which kind of sucked. And also, I tried doing one of the other new missions and it glitched out as well. But that's expected for a alpha game as it is not completely optimized, so we gotta kind of uh, go through all the stress of getting it to work properly in the videos. Grab our radar from this guy. Get over here. He's fast. I don't think I can catch him, but we'll, tr we'll try to shoot him from here. Now to grab our last piece of our craft here. We're going to break this tree to get our battery. And there we go. Sweet. We'll just throw that up there. <laughs> Actually, that's a horrible spot for it. That'll, that'll explode. We're going to put this stuff on the front like this. That looks like an interesting craft. Um, all right. We don't have very good... Uh, Side to side movement, but oh well. Now we gotta do our salvage mission. We gotta destroy five enemies. Um, I don't know if I can actually get this guy or not. We got these long range, long range guns here to try to reach him. It's kind of working. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you tried running. Damn work. All right. So now that we are done the salvage mission, we can go get our trading post, which is pretty standard. And then after that, I believe we can continue on to the crafting missions, which is going to be fun. Okay, there's a trading post there. We just got to kill the trader troll over there, and we should be good. Oh, man, he's attacking me already. I did not expect him to <laughs> come straight at me like that. Oh, well, he's already he's already damaged pretty bad. Come on. There we go. And he is dead. He's dead. Awesome. GSO grade 2. So we gotta buy a collector from the manufacturing tab in the trading post. There we go. We're gonna throw it on the back here. Um, no, we don't need that there. We'll put this right here on the sides. We'll actually get another one. They're gonna be helpful. There we go. And now that we are done all the basic missions, except the Geocorp license, we can actually start the Crafty Business 1 mission, which is the new crafting mission. Oh, there's my repair bubble there. All right. I don't know why it was over here. All right, so here we are. Over here, kiddo. I don't have a very good voice for Crafty Mike, by the way. What's up, kiddo? Crafty Mike's the name, and today's your lucky day. Sure it is, Crafty Mike. My base came under attack. And you get to help with the repair work. S sounds sounds good. All right. Be a pal and attach those conveyors back onto the delivery cannon for me. All right. One there. One there. One there. And I learned not to actually pick these up until he tells you to because it might glitch out and you'll have to redo everything. Which kind of sucks at the moment. But like I said, it is in early access. So, uh... I don't really expect there to be 
no bugs at all. So there we go. I would have done that myself, you see, but I can't move as freely as I used to these days. Pop that receiver onto the end of the conveyor line. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Imagine all the block bucks I'll learn from selling resource chunks now. Mind your head. Don't drop, don't drop stuff on me, Crafty Mike. Okay. There we go, and we are receiving his money. <laughs> what? Okay, fine, fine. I'll share the profits with you. I, I wasn't complaining, Crafty Mike. I wasn't complaining. But you know, there is a way to make even more cash. Uh, top of the line voice acting. I'll let you into a little secret. Special delivery incoming. Introducing the refinery. Okay, there we go. We're going to place it right here. Magic. The refinery will turn basic resources into something shinier. And more expensive. Take a look. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot faster than the old refinery, which is sweet. Look at that. It goes straight to the delivery cannon and gets sold just as fast, which is sweet. I don't remember it being that fast, but I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll let you look after my base for the time being. Meanwhile, I've got some errands to run. Later, Kato. Mission complete. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And and he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. All right. So I assume that means this is our base now. So I'm going to actually place down our stuff that we collect right here for now. We're going to move it eventually where we want to actually find a better base, which might be the actual monuments but i'm not quite sure yet so i'm just gonna do some leveling up get the basic stuff here and there I'm gonna kill this guy if i can I'm gonna just stay away from him though so he doesn't do too much damage to us oh yeah he, he's slow he's slow and i'm gonna use his parts to frankenstein a vehicle up and uh make something a little more oh 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 don't 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 shoot me from there please you're doing some damage i ran out of batteries too because i placed them on our base Anyways, I'm going to Frankenstein up a mining vehicle because it's going to be pretty useful for these missions. So there we go. This is our vehicle at the moment. It's pretty nice and all. But nothing too special. And I'm just going to do some of these basic missions, like I said, to progress a little faster. Oh, wow. Look up there, guys. There's already a monument, which is pretty sweet. I hear the drum beat, but um, we're going to go. We're going to go to that later. That's pretty sweet. Hey, look who's back. Hey, Crafty Mike. Good to see you again, kiddo. My base had another little accident. Maybe you could reattach that receiver for me. Okay. Put it there. Nice. Now I can use this large silo again. Mind your head. I still think I have the top of the line voice acting for Crafty Mike. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It could be better. <laughs> Silos can hold a ton of resource chunks. That's pretty cool. Go ahead. Attach the rest of the conveyors. Okay. Cool. One. Two. You know, I'll let you into another little secret, kiddo. Those trading stations, they're a complete ripoff. No. No, really? So I found a way to make blocks myself. Special delivery incoming. Behold, the Fabricator. With this, I'll soon get you making stuff for me. Now, I think this is where it actually glitched on me, where I could not progress anymore. Attach the Fabricator to the end of the conveyor line. Could you, kiddo? Now, hopefully this works. Right there. There we go. Great. Now, right-click on the Fabricator. I'm glad that actually worked. That would have had to, That would have sucked to have to restart for the third time. <laughs> but here we go. Let's craft that up. It's gonna, ooh, it actually calls it from the silo now. That is awesome. I'm assuming you could do that with actual refined resources too, if they're in silos as well. And that's going to be sweet. Later, kiddo. Mission complete. All right, thanks, Crafty Mike. As soon as you fly off into space, I'm gonna throw this block away and I'm gonna steal this stuff from you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, such a, I'm such a mean person. Now we're gonna hook all this stuff we stole from Crafty Mike up to our base. Okay, so there we go. We have our silo and our fabricator hooked up to our base. Um, I have a feeling this is going to get destroyed eventually by enemies because look how many are actually around us. I'm actually going to clear them out. So we can easily make some extra batteries. One there. That's going to call it. We're going to make some batteries so we can get some power to our um, vehicle here. 
pop that out. There we go. Gonna make another one, or maybe a couple more. Um, yeah, we'll make a couple more. We need another uh, repair bubble though, because ours was broken. I don't know if we have enough stuff for that either. Oh, okay, we could get the green ones. The green ones are right here. Okay, back this up, drop those on our receiver, and those will get sent over to there, and we now have our shield bubble again, because the other one was destroyed. Place that on our vehicle to repair up, and how much does it cost to make a actual shield bubble projector? Uh, we don't have any of the Celestite shards, we don't have any of those. So, there's a point of interest here, and this is a new mission as well. Look, there's a delivery crate over there, let's see what's in it. Um, it's strange that it's just so in the open like this. Yep, it's a trap. Okay, we're gonna destroy these enemies. I'm assuming they're gonna be easy. Oh yeah, they're, they're little guys. We'll just destroy them. Take what's in the crate for hours. And, oh man, they're doing some damage to us. Okay, we gotta make sure they don't get behind us. Laser them! <laughs> That's actually doing... They're taking quite a bit of damage from the laser. One guy dead. And this last little guy here, and we should be good. And there we go. He's destroyed. Let's check what's inside this crate. What's in there? Oh, nice. Is that an anchor block? And that is. Nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna take that and probably sell it or scrap it when we get the scrapper. But actually, I think Crafty Business 3 is now available all the way back at our base. Across the desert plain. Um, oh man. Oh man, we're getting out of here. I don't think we're ready for an invasion quite yet. Uh, we'll see though. We're just gonna see. Uh, I don't know. That guy might be a little too tough for us. But you know, we got money. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna go kill that guy. Hopefully he doesn't have any... Oh, he does. He has the giant cannons on top, I think. Well, we're gonna kill him. Take all his stuff. Oh, he has a shield! Oh no, that's not good. We don't have one of those. We gotta run, make his shield run out. Oh, there's a tree, there's a tree. Oh man. Oh, okay, he has no shield now. That's good. That's good. Just destroy him. Oh, he's destroying us. And there we go. I think he is gone. I want those giant tires. Oh man! <laughs> he was still alive. Okay, now we got a shield bubble, I think. No, that's a repair bubble. We don't need another one. Now we got these big boy wheels. Pop those on the back there. Now we look like a hot rod. Oh man, that's pretty insane. Look at that. Alright, it seems like it's a lot easier to actually level up now, which is awesome. Not gonna be as much of a grind. Oh, there's Crafty Mike. That you over there, kiddo? What's up, Crafty Mike? Ahoy there. Come to visit old Crafty Mike again. Have you, kiddo? Maybe. Maybe I'm just here to steal your stuff. You're in luck. I know how much you love helping out your old pal. Perhaps you could attach that filter to the base for me. Okay, cool. Throw it right in the middle there. Oh, it popped off, Crafty Mike. It popped off. There you go. Other way. Is that how you wanted it? It's not working, Crafty Mike. That's not gonna work, Crafty Mike. Let's try this again. There we go. What's that, kiddo? What does the filter do? It does not work. That's what it does. I'm just kidding. The clue's in the name, of course. It filters out blocks. Or chunks. It filters out chunks. <laughs> so some chunks are passed onto it while others are ignored. Why don't you try it out yourself, kiddo? Okay, cool. Drag the firewood chunk directly onto the filter. Oh, okay. There's a little firewood icon in there. That is awesome. Now it picks up that specific chunk, which is sweet. Special delivery incoming. I'll back up because I know you, Crafty Mike. Okay, good. It's the furnace generator. The furnace generator uses fuel to power your base. It even works during the long, cold nights. Okay, cool. Oh, you look, it looks like you lost a filter. I'm going to leave that there for you. Attach the furnace gener generator to the base if you'd be so kind. Okay, right about... This better work, Crafty Mike. This better work. Right there. Nice, okay, now it's fueling it up, and it is providing our cells here with energy. Sweet. We need to keep the generator stocked up with fuel though. Attach that receiver to the end of the conveyor line. 
right here. Cool. Watch the filter go to work on these assorted resources. Very nice. Very simple. It's similar to the old one, but the old one was a lot more difficult to actually use. This one seems like it has a lot more versatility compared to the old one. I'll let you into another one of my little secrets, kiddo. The generator doesn't only use fire fi fiber wood for power. Oh, it's called fiber wood. It can use other fuel type resources too. Right click and hold over the filter to open the filter menu. Oh, sweet. That is a lot better. Oh, man. There's so much options here. That's a lot better than the old one. And filter fuel chunks only. Okay. Whoa, that's sweet. I'm not sure what the other fuel chunks are, though. Take a look at some of the other resources that could be used as fuel. Okay, I'm assuming... Oh, really? I didn't know that was. Or the jelly. That's pretty cool. You seem to be enjoying yourself, kiddo. So why don't you keep the base powered for me while I'm gone? I, I sure will, but I'm going to take it over to my base and use it as my own. Mission complete. Bye, Crafty Mike. <laughs> and he's gone. Well, thanks, Crafty Mike. This is, this is now my stuff. Oh, wow. You can get some pretty cool camera angles just by right-clicking the filter there. Look at this. That's pretty cool. I wish there was an actual... Uh, separate free mode camera for this game. Uh, hint, hint, developers, that would be pretty sweet. Very, very cinematic looking. Maybe there is one, I'm not sure. Bam. And we are almost level 3 on GSO already, which means we will be back to where we were almost in the last episode, which means we can get our plane parts. It's actually going to be a lot easier to do that because we can actually make it now. We could have made it before too, but that was a little more complicated having to look up on what it needed on the interwebs. Interwebs? All right, we're going back to our base to incorporate all this free stuff that we got onto our own little factory. So I'm gonna kind of make something up here. I'm not sure what really. I still don't have the SCU yet either. I'm assuming we get that pretty soon though. I think it's GSO level three, maybe it's this. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't even been doing the side missions. So there we go. Now we have our raw resources here and they get over here and refined and then the refined ones goes to this silo here. And if we really need it, we can go in here and call in the items we need with the fabricator here. And it should do that all automatically. We're actually gonna test that out. Um, I don't think we need any refined pieces though. Doesn't look like it, not yet at least. I think that's for the other factions it looks like it but there we go guys we got our little base up we got a few more missions for crafty mike i think i think there's uh five of them five or six but anyways guys if you enjoyed this episode please let me know in the comment section and thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye